I'm going to show you a little thing with the toolbar in this newer version of Photoshop CC. As you can see here on the left, we have our various tools and our tool groups, if you will. The groups have the little arrow pointing down, and if I zoom in here a bit on one of these, and I hold the tool down, you'll see that it comes grouped with a number of related tools. Now, the beautiful thing about this newer version of Photoshop is you can, you, get, you can actually customize these tool sets, if you will. And you can even delete and add tools and change the order and so on as they are situated in the toolbar. Now the way we do that is if you go towards the bottom here, you're going to see three dots. And if you click and hold on that, you can choose Edit Toolbar. And it's very simple. You get this dialog box here and you can see the established sets on the left here. And I can scroll down. And we pretty well have, you know, the whole kitchen sink in this mess. If you want to simplify it, you can simply extract tools by dragging them over to the extra tools panel. And if I click done, I'll show you here on the marquee tools. I no longer have those vertical and horizontal marquee tools. I can also go in again back to edit, edit toolbar and move things around. I can actually shuffle the order and you can see the little blue marquee appears and I've just changed the stacking order of these, if you will. Now the top one in the list will be the default until you select a different tool and that latest tool selection then becomes the icon that you see in that area. So again, if I wanna reestablish a new set, let's say I wanna take the slice tools out and make my own slice tool set. I can drag this back and if I drag it in between, I do establish a new set and then I can carefully drag this inside there. And you can see here I have this two slice tools grouped together. If I click done, my slice tools are over here somewhere. There they are. And you can see the two tools together. So this is how we can now customize our toolbar in Photoshop. And just one quick last thing, let me go back to edit toolbar. Of course, there wouldn't be a whole lot of value if you couldn't save the various sets. So let's just go in here and go save preset. And you give it a name. I'll call it my set. Let me just change that typing here to my set. And I'm just saving it in a pre-created folder called Custom Toolbars. And I click Save. And anytime I wanted to load that, I can go Load Preset. And you can see here I actually have three currently to choose from. And I'll just hit Cancel for now. And I'll actually hit Done in here. So that's the high and low of how to customize your toolbar in Photoshop CC.